What's going on, my high vibrational people? Just got off my workout, so you know, man, just breathing in and out heavy. But you know, what's more, what's most important is that you replicate and you do activities throughout your day that you know help you recycle your thoughts and feelings. So you know, you're not necessarily stuck in the same old pattern again and again and again. And when I mean recycling, see, nature shows us that everything in life recycles and things like that. The water from the oceans evaporate, turns into air. And then it rains again. So there's a cycle to things. This is why we even have the Trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So life is cyclical, and even life around us goes through cycles. Your cells die, and they re reduplicate. So there's a cycle to that as well. Life and death is a cycle. Your bicycle, it's a cycle. <laughs> For it to even, because you know, it's 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 a really it really is a system. It's a cyclical, spiral, um, wave generating pattern that all reality and all nature does so from our day-to-day -day lives you know if we pay attention there's a lot of things that take us outward of ourselves that we do outwardly that really you know take us uh down take us downward things that make us uh feel down not necessarily feel down from the perspective of being depressed and things like that yeah that as well but down from the perspective of it's sucking our energy and us not having an, a return on the investment of energy that we made by paying attention to it now you can't pay attention to things outside of you no problem but just understand that uh, things should be, uh, you know, things should reciprocate energy. Things should uh, give you a return of energy and shouldn't, things shouldn't just be taking out your energy and not giving you anything back. That might be like people, places and things like friends or TV shows, you know, certain activities that you do uh, throughout your day and things like that. But really what's supposed to happen is that, you know, we're supposed to uh, go inward and we're supposed to go upward. So everything, even we, when we go inward of ourselves, when we understand ourselves, when we seek knowledge of self, we start to do things in our day to day lives that, you know, help us, uh, help us elevate the self rather than destroy the self. Things that are aligned with our assignment, things that are aligned with our planetary energies and things like that. Things that uh, elevate us, not things that destroy us. And those things actually take us upward. Those things actually make us feel up. Those things make us feel happy. Those things make us feel excited. Those things make us feel energized and so this is why the dominant culture essentially the people that run the harmonious arrangement people that control the money and uh, the entertainment and all these things because you better believe all of it is controlled their goal is to get you outside of yourself and to lose your identity of yourself by you just uh you know getting lost in the shapes and forms externally outside of you presented and they want to have you you know only perform a certain level of cognitive functions to come up to specific solutions that assist them and their sub beast system with going forward and so this is why you know a lot of people are being dumbed down this is why you might a lot of people might even come to the conclusion that this is the dumbest generation you know of all generations just based on how much we use our brain we don't really use our brain much we're told what to study in school in terms of our education we're told what to what should be entertaining to us because we look all around us and this is the same thing that entertains everybody so therefore it must be entertaining for you and it's not entertaining for you oh something must be wrong with you and so you, and you might actually start to believe okay something must be wrong with me because i'm not being entertained by the same things that other people find entertaining and so i have to try harder to a quote unquote fit in but nobody's really looking to f like now i said you can't make you can't fit, you can't fit a square peg in a round circle so you gotta understand your shape and form and how you operate how you move things uh, how you go about to the world, not get lost in the ways of the world, because that's that's what that's what Jesus in the Bible was warning is getting lost in the ways of the world. No, you have your own way, and you were meant you were meant to create your own way, and you can have your own way whenever you want to. But you'd rather have someone else have have their way. Another group of people have their way. You'd rather go with, with, with another people group or person's way of seeing is because it might be safer. It, they might be having more more of the things of the world at the moment. But little do you know that whatever journey that you are on, you're creating, a, you're literally creating a whole new identity. You're bringing a spirit into this realm. You're bringing, bringing a, a spirit. It's nothing but a, an, a, a group of agreeable thoughts and feelings. So you might have all types of spirits, and you might have uh, the spirit of a liar. You might have the spirit of. I'm talking about myself. You might have. You might. I'm, I'm, I had the spirit of a liar. I had the spirit of clandestine behavior. I had those uh, different spirits that were forming neurological networks that were creating in my life. The spirit of non-participation. The spirit of, you know. Uh, laziness, the spirit of uh, letting your life go by and not do anything about it yourself and things like that. And so we have all these spirits with, within us and we got to be careful what spirits we allow to operate because someone might want us to want to make us feel that us giving our powers away 
is a good thing and it's the right chance. It's the righteous thing to do. Um, but really, it's not. God doesn't want you to give your power. God wants you to learn about your personal power and how do you consciously create your reality from day to day, minute to minute, hour to hour, and all these things. Because once you start to see the power in that, there's no way you're gonna be, there's no way you're gonna be sad. There's no way you need pissed off because you're gonna you're gonna see how you're creating those moments every single day, and that's one of the most exciting things ever. I mean, you're literally taking control back of your life. You're taking control of the things that you give birth to as far as your awareness. Now, sometimes the memories are way stronger than the visions of the future or who we are right now at the moment, and that's okay. But you don't get lost in the memories. You don't let the memories, these membranes, uh, pull you down. You recognize, yes, that's what happened, and your brain is very intelligent, so it knows, okay, that you might not be, uh, <laughs> you might not be that what you say who you is at the moment, but this is why you gotta do things every single day to prove to your brain that you know we are who we say we are, and we, we will get the things that that you asked for and things like that. So, you're, even because you remember, your brain is trying to keep you safe from things that uh, that are out on the world. Your brain has collected enough data to support certain things and not to support certain things. So when you're tr applying a new uh, way of being, a new way of seeing, a new way of feeling, your brain might necessarily want to accept that and you might want to uh, reject that, but it's up to you to be the stronger observer because because it's your body, it's your mind. You better tell it what to do and not it telling you what to do based on some old memories and things like that. That's that's really just based on, because the body, remember, the body is a third dimensional vehicle. It's about survival, it's about safety, it's about material security and needs and wants, all these like fleshly things. But the spirit has nothing to do with the flesh. The spirit was against the flesh and it was not for the flesh and things like that. So those things are going to collide. Those things are going to fight. But you have to bet on your spirit. You have to do things that are going to move your spirit in a direction of winning every day. You have to win the combat. This is a, a spiritual combat. Where you're, you're in spiritual combat with your lower self, with the, with the Lucifer, with the Demiurge, with, the, uh, with your lower desires and things like that. And you want to be able to take your energies and point that in a different direction of higher desires things because you can literally have a mental orgasm you, your thoughts and feelings you give birth to things every single day if you're consciously aware of your thoughts and feelings and what you're doing like a monk every single day you're living your life consciously observantly and things like that then you'll get to this level where you're literally giving birth you're having mental orgasms that come from down here all the way up here and shoot off of your head this is why the greeks had these allegories of like um uh, Kronos, him heads his head being busted open and him having children being born out of there like Zeus and things like that. They were born of these like uh, outer gods and these lower deities and things like that. But it's, an, it's just an allegory to tell you that you have, you were literally like the same thing as them. You literally sprung forth like a thought or a feeling from your mother and father. And you actually started walking around physically like the word of God has become alive and started dwelling amongst flesh. And so you have that same ability within you as well. And so when you realize that this is what you're doing, you're giving birth to, you're literally a human. It's just nothing but a third dimensional vessel or antenna for the lower dimension of demons and the upper dimension of angels. And so it's up to you which one you want to channel and it's up to you uh, which one you give more life to. But the thing is, these two energies are not good or bad either. You just have to give, you used to get them balanced. Like, like this is why some Christian pastors will, 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 will try to tell you, ah, oh, nah, brother, uh, uh, sex is for demons. Yes, for demons. Ah, praise, praise Jesus, and they think. But you, when you actually follow them around, you'll see they, that they are the most demonic person, most wickedest person behind closed doors. Like they're the most stuck in their feelings, most egotistical person you'll ever meet, because they don't know how to get outside of their demons, their feelings, and things like that. So they might show you with their white magic, their light magic. They might flash their white robes on you. They might show you the golden cross. To, to, to make to psych your mind up into thinking that okay these guys are about this shit but they're really they're, they're not about this shit they're really just a bunch of coons bunch of coon artists bunch of suckers and this is what they do for a living follow the way of the they follow the shepherd but they didn't tell you which shepherd they're following dog that's why this shit is real so but yeah like um man 2023 Spiritual combat at its all-time high. You've since you was born, you've been attacked from all angles, man. So uh, shout out to the people that actually made it to this point of this this point of conscious awareness. Because at the end of the day, um, like we're, like people is gonna get a kingdom like no other. But the kingdom is within. As long as we're playing out these this, these 
higher godly virtues and principles and eventually people is going to see the difference people are going to be like okay like these people in the government is saying this but these regular people keep calling it out before it happens okay so what's going on is, is this like a pre-plan already is, is, is somebody trying to wipe out the population mentally speculatively and then objectively and things like that is somebody trying to domesticate us like what's what's going on and people already feel it in their gut people already know but they don't want to logically think about what they've been feeling about this whole time so the shadow government they're going to give them ways to think about uh, to think about logically what they've been feeling about uh, in instinctively so they can again dilute the path and not let people understand or know what's really going on behind closed doors and so you know uh this is this is, this is just a game we play it's the game of chess and it's a very very fun game uh once you get into it because it's not about them it's really just about you and they know that you're already stuck into something and even if they didn't run the world you would still be playing that out like let's say you was a egotistical person and you was uh you extremely hated black people you just hate black people you just, are you i don't know i'm giving this there's a dumb example but it's an example they know that even if if they if, even if their government is not there they know that somebody out there will carry their demonic virtues their feelings out extremely hard towards another group so it doesn't really matter what they do they worry they're worried about maintaining their structure their satur their satur saturn fucking matrix externally and by paying close attention to how you feel your moon what's reflected uh from you from the source and what's reflected to you from this world and so this is why they they come up with technologies like brain metrics and things like that because they want to be able to track down in real time how you're thinking and feeling and yeah because basically they categorize you guys all the time basically because they know that certain people get to a conscious point and you can see it in the brain scan not sometimes not exactly but it's very seeable because if they see that you have this high amount of energy in your brain and you're able to control this energy this energy is not fucking you over then okay you're somebody that's gonna be on that list and they're gonna be watching you but not from the perspective of your local police stations be watching you know it's gonna be some niggas in a agency or some niggas in underground bunker and watching because this shit gets deep and they be given orders like they be pushing forward like things based on what they based on their you know eye god's eye system which is basically an, their intelligence gathering system that they used to spy on everything on everybody and it requires externally a lot of companies to participate like Sam, like all, all these phone companies all these you know different companies and things like that, they all participate into this but you know obviously they get what they get and like like you know i don't know what exactly what they get but i'm assuming they get something because they get nothing for free so even if you're gonna buy my loyalty you gotta like pay me a large amounts of money so you can only imagine what they're getting what type of deals to be getting like life extension life extension shit medical technology you've never seen in your life all types of shit but yeah that's just some quick shit i wanted to say peace be peace be with y'all man you know stay strong stay, stay strong man because you know the fight is only gonna get tougher and that's it